Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And welcome to my very unintended series, which I am calling Journaling with Jeannie. I will be working in my Mosary journal. I will be using watercolor paints. The two palettes I am using this time are Jane Davenport palettes. I have the Bright palette. And I have the Glitz C, and there is the color swatch for each of the palettes. I am going to be using images from my Art by Marlene mega book <laughs> of paper die cuts. And specifically, I am going to use this cutie right here. My goal is to create a night sky or kind of galaxy sky type inspired background for her. And it is a big experiment because I've never tried anything like this before, but I have a general sense of what it is I need to do. So let's see if it works. I of course have watercolor page or paper in this particular journal. I did mask a border, half inch border, to act as a frame. So, I'm going to speed run this, of course I am, and uh, we will see what we land on. I will see you on the other side, my friends. Wish me luck. <laughs>
here is the final background. <laughs> I love the way it turned out. There were a couple of scary moments there, but um, I didn't quit. I wanted to. <laughs> there were a couple of times I wanted to start over, but I was like, nope, nope, nope. It's fine. It's fine. Just push, push, push through it. I did. And I love the way it looks. The splatter in the background is some metallic paint. Um, these are the Prima Metallic Accents in the color White Noise and Brilliant Gold. Love the way it looks. I have this cutie. Absolutely adore her. I have a cloud. I don't particularly care for the face on the cloud, but we're going to cover that up. Found some stars in the book. And then I went into my sticky quotes. This is art by Marlene as well. And I found this one in the dark search for the stars. So I'll definitely be using that. We are going to have to do some cutting. So let's do that now. Put that here off to the side so we don't lose track. Figure something along these lines here. Actually, let me do a little trimming on this star. It has the slightest of borders, borders, and uh, I want to get rid of that. doesn't have much of a border, but it has enough where, um, just enough where I don't like it. <laughs> I want the stars to look like, you know, part of the background, not like stickers on a background. better. And I also have a Wink of Stella pen. Just recently got it, so we'll definitely use that. to add some glitter, some sparkle. I think generally this is going to be the layout. did decide that <clears throat> other than maybe some doodling with my twispy fountain pen, I'm not going to fuss too much about adding um, shadows to any of these die cuts when I do use them. I'm just going to keep it simple. I 
think at the rate <laughs> or the pace that I am moving with this journal, I'm going to fill it up pretty quickly, which I'm excited about, believe it or not, because I don't think I've ever completed a journal, like completely filled one. Don't think I ever have. I bounce around. I have so many journals right now. I just bounce around. But between this journal and my book of die cuts, the size of this journal is perfect for the die cuts. And it's also the perfect size for watercoloring, I think. The pages are not too big, not too overwhelming or intimidating. It's the right size to start and finish a, uh, a project. So I think all of those things factored together means I'm probably going to complete this journal. This is my Wink of Stella. Just going to add some sparkles. To the stars. To her crown. Maybe to a couple sections of her wings. And how about we do a little bow on her dress? I'm going to frame the sentiments just a little. Actually, that's not enough for me, so let's add some more. Find a spot to sign this. Let's do it on this side here. Thank you. 
it is done. That is the final page. I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. The background, this particular background, is my absolute favorite so far, I think. So that is my share, my friends. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will catch you all in the next video. Until next time, bye-bye.